Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are watching The Big Bang Theory. This is the 15th episode of the third season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you'd like to watch today's full episode, it is available for free in a link in the description below. Just click it, put a password in, and enjoy. So last episode, basically Sheldon was struggling with his work. He was spiraling out. You know, he was uh, he was trying to figure out a new career path because he wanted to get a simpler job, maybe so that he can relax his mind so he can solve his problem, which actually ended up working because he took a role at the Cheesecake Factory without them actually knowing he seemed like he was doing all right as well to be honest but then he dropped um some uh, dishes onto the floor which then actually created a piece where he could actually figure out uh, what he actually needed to and uh, straight away he left penny to clean it all up you know what i mean and he's back working in his way but i also um said that i felt sorry a bit for raj because you know he's trying to hang out with the guys you know he's giving suggestions and scenarios where he can all chill and go and have fun and what the guys are doing is just taking it and going on double dates penny and obviously leonard and and uh howard and bernadette and it's just leaving him hanging on his own and i do feel sorry for him so i seen the last bit of the episode where he was working uh well sorry when howard and him went to the roller ring together and did a bit of dancing like you know it actually made me happy and i hope that we get a howard ep um sorry a raj episode in today's um today's one because and you know i miss seeing him on the screen i used to think that him and howard was great together and now i actually feel sorry for him and i don't feel like we get enough of him because obviously he's, he is like third fourth he's a, basically like fifth wheel isn't he? he's not even with them anymore he's just there lingering in the background kind of like sheldon but not enough screen time for him i always felt like he had enough because he was with howard and it actually worked out because he bounced off each other but now he's spending time with bernadette which is needed because she needs to be elevated if she's going to stay in the show it's kind of pushing him to the side which i don't want so Hopefully we get um, a bit of Raj in today's episode. I'm excited for it. Thanks for checking out today's. If you do enjoy it, please smash the like. Really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, let's jump into today's episode. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. No, you hang up first. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, standard. Dude, I'm glad you finally got a girlfriend, but do you have to do all that lovey-dovey stuff in front of those of us who don't? Happiness is not dependent on my best friend being miserable and alone. Thank you. Although I'd be lying if I said it wasn't a little bit of a perk. <laughs> <laughs> Who's miserable and alone? Me. Oh. I used to be like that. Given that St. Valentine was a 3rd century Roman priest who was stoned and beheaded, wouldn't a more appropriate celebration of the evening be taking one steady gal to witness a brutal murder? But given a choice, Jews always go with Chinese food. Isn't anyone gonna ask? Fine, tell us you're gonna have sex with Penny. That's not what I was gonna tell you. It's okay, I don't mind hearing about your sex life. It's his that bugs me. <laughs> who the university is sending to Switzerland to attend a conference and see the CERN Super Collider on February 14th. Professor Norton, although God knows why, he hasn't published anything in notes since he won that Nobel Prize. <laughs> Actually, Professor Norton can't make it. He threw his back out rock climbing. Right. They're asking me to fill in for him. In Switzerland? <laughs> this is incredible. I'm so happy. I'm not even going to question their judgment in picking you. <laughs> I'm just going to run home and start packing. Why wouldn't you take Benny? I, I was. I am taking Penny. <laughs> yeah. Well, then I anticipate an awkward situation when you get home. What is... What, what, what do you do in that situation, honestly? Do you address it instantly, head on, so they don't get, like, too happy about it? Because... I've, I've had that before as well and i've seen it in many times people just assume because she's close to somebody that like you're going to take them it's like when somebody gets tickets to the game you know football or basketball or whatnot yeah i got two tickets and like people think oh one's for me yes i can't wait to go it's like no i wasn't saying that you can have one i was just saying that i've got two like me and my girlfriend are going or me and raj are going do you know what i mean like you just automatically assumed it and now it's awkward you know so i do kind of feel sorry for him in that situation to be honest and Sheldon didn't read the room. He basically was asking what's everybody doing for Valentine's Day and everybody went around the room and it was obvious that he was saying that he was going to take Penny in the scenario before he even expressed what it actually was. It's just Sheldon's fault that obviously he thinks that he's taking himself. Sheldon, you got a minute? Of course, my good friend. Come in. <laughs> yeah, help me out. Which ski hat says Opre Super Collider? <laughs> Sheldon, I'm not taking you to Switzerland. Well, of course you are. Who else would you take? Penny. But Penny has no interest in subatomic particle research. <laughs> I've been dreaming about going to the Large Hadron Collider since I was nine years old. Yeah, well, I've been dreaming about spending Valentine's Day with a girl since I was six. 
This she might not care. contains clues as to what you and I are going to be doing on Valentine's Day. My lactose intolerant boyfriend is going to eat all this and I'm going to climb on his back and rock it to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> no. Swiss cheese with my Swiss army knife and then you can wash it down with a cup of Swiss Miss Instant Cocoa. Great, sweetie, this started out fun, but I'm over it. <laughs> We're going to Switzerland to see the CERN Super Collider. And ski, we'll also go skiing. We're going skiing in Switzerland? Well, you'll ski, I'll fall. I want to hold off on lighting your Ribe Leakley, Penny. Ribe Leakley, it means turn up light and refers to a traditional lantern hand carved from a root vegetable and used to celebrate certain Swiss festivals, which yeah, you will not can be you celebrating you because A, these festivals occur in the fall. And B, you will not be going to Switzerland. Friendship Rider in Appendix C, Future Commitments, number 37. In the event one friend is ever invited to visit the Large Hadron Collider, now under construction in Switzerland, he shall invite the other friend to accompany him. Is there anything in there about if one of you gets a girlfriend? No, that seemed a little far-fetched. <laughs> Longer stage, spontaneous biohazard drills after 10 p.m. And I abandon my goal to master Tuvan throat singing. Okay, I know I shouldn't ask, no. but what it is... <laughs> no, it's in the agreement. And if you turn into a zombie, I promise I will not kill you. In fact, I'll even let you eat my brains, but I am taking Penny to Switzerland. Is that your final decision? It is. Very well. Do you know what, right? I know that I just said it at the start about him saying, um, you know, basically Sheldon automatically assuming, assuming himself in that situation that he was actually going. And also, you know, the fact that it was obvious that um, Leonard was going to take Penny, basically, because he was asking everybody what they're doing for Valentine's Day. But I actually do find this kind of pretty tough, to be honest, because it's like, okay, cool. You go into a location where it'd be good to take your girlfriend and do external things, that would be very nice. But at the end of the day, right, if it's like one of your best mate streams and full-on lifetime goals and it's in a field that they absolutely love, like, do you not think that, like, it'd be better off taking them? Like... For example, I know we were talking about the game and I was talking about tickets a minute ago, but like, just pretend you got two tickets to the Super Bowl and you took your girlfriend, who's not really that arsed really about the football, what's going on, but they like the state that it's in. It's in Orlando this year, so guess what? We can go to Disney World after it, you know what I mean? We could have a good weekend together. It's like, yeah, that's cool. But like the event itself, you and your mate have been hardcore fans all your life and you've always dreamt about doing this moment and spending it together and it's like you know you should really take them <laughs> i understand where leonard's coming from and i was kind of on his side at the start but now listening to it and thinking about it i feel like i know that sheldon shouldn't assert himself in that situation and assume that he was going but i actually kind of feel like leonard should should take him <laughs> you know which is weird because obviously i understand why he wouldn't but then again can he not just pay for a ticket for Penny to go and then them to attend the event that he actually wants to go to, this heart hardened collision, whatever, and him and Penny then could spend Valentine's Day together doing something else and skiing after it's finished. Instead of underpants, I covered my crotch with potato salad this morning. Thoughts? <laughs> okay, I know it'll cheer you up. Let's play one of your driving games. The game is called Traitors. <laughs> We'll name three historical figures. You put them in order of the heinousness of their betrayal. Benedict Arnold, Judas, Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. Uh, Sheldon, can't you at least try to understand how much this means to me? Round two. Leonard Hofstadter, Darth Vader, Rupert Murdoch. You owns a lot of stuff. I couldn't hang with you last night. I had a date with Bernadette. I know. I saw the tweet. <laughs> so what do you end up doing? Not much. Nuked a burrito. Pray to the Hindu god Urvashi that your bowels would loosen and your penis would droop like a willow tree. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, 30 pieces of silverware. What's that? Like, is it a tradition or something? I don't know. Morning, old chum. Juice? 
coffee, and pancakes in the shape of some of your favorite fictional characters. See, here's Frodo. If you need to void your bladder before eating, I can keep them warm with this beret that I thoroughly laundered and pressed into service as a pancake cozy. I've come to realize that friendship is not an aggregation of written agreements. It's the result of two people respecting and caring for each other. After you finished breakfast, I thought we could spend the day watching the final season of Babylon 5 with director commentary. You hate Babylon 5. I do. It fails as drama, science fiction, and it's hopelessly derivative. Is he trying to show him that friends do things for You're other not people? Taking you to Switzerland. Mm. Drab. Hello. All right, let's dispense with the friendly banter. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you know why I'm here. Better acoustics for your throat singing? <laughs> it's actually not bad. Why Sheldon Cooper, Ph.D. should go to Switzerland to see the CERN Super Collider. A PowerPoint presentation by Sheldon Cooper, Ph.D. I'm sorry, is this supposed to be buttering me up? Please hold all questions till the end of the presentation. <laughs> this is the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland. The product of decades of planning and construction, it is a mecca for physicists the world over. This is Bath and Body Works on Colorado Boulevard. Let's see if we can match the individual to the appropriate destination. Leonard's decision. He invited me to Switzerland, and I intend to go. Enjoy yourself. I'm going to be in the presence of something that I've dreamed of seeing for decades. I'll talk to Leonard. It means that much to you. You should go. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Even though I don't have a girlfriend, I can still have a good time on Valentine's Day. Trust me, you can't. I've tried. Sheldon, I need to talk to you. All right, my friend. Would you like some Hilaire mousse? Some what? Hilaire mousse. It's a traditional Swiss breakfast dish. Didn't Penny tell you the good news? She told me that you went behind my back to guilt her into letting you go instead of her. Yes, that good news. I was the one who was invited. I get to decide who goes with me, and it's Penny, not you. Howard, could you lower the lights? I have a short PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Go by myself before I would take you. Really? From this moment forward, we can be roommates, but we will no longer be friends. Friendship clause of our roommate agreement nullified. You are no longer entitled to accompany me to go swimming at Bill Gates' house should I be invited. She getting sick? You getting a cold? No, no, it's probably just allergies. Do you want an allergy pill? Because I have them all. Prescription, non-prescription, <laughs> domestic, experimental. <laughs> You okay? Does that sound okay to you? What's going on? I'm having a tea party. What do you think's going on? Well, our plane leaves at 9 a.m. Do you think you'll feel better by then? <laughs> hey, Sheldon. Listen, Penny's pretty sick, and she's not going to be able to go to Switzerland. <laughs> Are he sick as well? No way. In a minute. Here's your soup. Chicken? Yes. With the little stars? Yes. Heated to 180 degrees? Why don't I pour it in your lap and you can tell me? I'm scrupulous about my hygiene. I regularly disinfect my hands and I avoid contact with other people on general principle. Oh, Penny, thank you. Ah, oh, I see you, man. It's you! I touched you! Happy Valentine's Day. Raj, hopefully. Yes, go on, lad. Oh my goodness, look at this room. <gasps> Champagne. This is going to be the best Valentine's Day ever. Yeah, I forgot about all this. But I never will. <laughs> I'm glad Raj went to go. Do you know what? Yeah. <laughs> It is tough. My opinion totally changed from the start of the episode up until the ending, to be honest. I feel like he should have mandatory took Sheldon. I actually do think it is, you know. At first, when I spoke it out loud, I didn't... Not that I didn't understand the context. I just didn't fully think about what it is that somebody was doing. You know what I mean? And it's like... If he knows that that's his dream, to always go there, like, why, why would you not invite him? I, I, I understand why he wouldn't invite him, but... I also don't understand why as well, like because, yeah, okay, you could have your have your Valentine's Day with Penny, and it would be a great one, yeah, this free trip. But at the end of the day, you know how much this means to us. Like if I knew, for example, right, I don't mind Miley Cyrus. I think she's from sound. She got some alright songs. She's decent. If I won a competition to go and meet her, 
yeah, I'd, I'd be like, you know, sweet, you know what I mean? I'll get a picture and, and speak to her. She seems like pretty cool, you know. I've seen her when she was a kid and had a Montana and that. But at the end of the day, I know my sister, right, would be on the floor crying. That's how much she's obsessed. You know what I mean? Like, my sister, absolutely in love with her. She'll literally shake and cry. And it'd be the best moment of her entire life. Although I could have enjoyed that moment, I know that that, my, that person, my sister, would hardcore love that. So regardless, you know what I mean? I would pass it over. And that's kind of like that situation there, you know. It'd be great for me and my girlfriend to go on this abroad trip. You know, we've been giving it and it'd be nice to spend Valentine's Day. But look at the weight and the magnitude it means to somebody that I actually know who hardcore wants to be there and it's one of their lifelong dreams. You know what I mean? I've got a chance to take them and fulfil something that they've always wished. And I feel like once you think of it and you put it into that perspective, I feel like it's tight not inviting him. You know what I mean? I actually do. Especially when you know that it's not really anything that Penny actually cares about as well. The location may be decent and it might be, you know, many things that you could do outside those activities, but the hardcore, like, point of the trip and the reason why you're getting took there, you know what I mean, should outweigh the things that you could do on the outside. So I don't know. I wouldn't say he was being a bad friend or anything. I understand both sides of the scenarios, but, like, after thinking about it and seeing it and how much Sheldon badly wanted to go and how much he means to it and how much he loves it, I feel like, I, feel, I just feel like he could have just taken him or he should have just taken him as well. He could have bought a ticket for Penny. Sheldon could have bought his own ticket, you know, and it could have gone. It didn't have to end the way it did, but, you know, it's interesting. I'd love to know who you think should be in the right or the wrong. Should Penny have gone or should have Sheldon? That's what I'd be interested to know what your opinions are. Okay, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, you know what I'd actually like to see? The Valentine's Day episode. I would love to see how, obviously, Raj spent his day. Penny and um, you know Penny and Leonard, Bernadette and Howard. I would love to see the stops that he would have pulled out. You know, he said that he was going to all out to a restaurant that was like thirty nine ninety nine for all you can eat. Now, not being funny, but that just sounds like a normal date. That in the week, doesn't it? You know, what I mean, like you can expect expect to take your your girlfriend out on a date and it costs hundred every single time you go, no matter what. Start a main and dessert for both of you. Or even the drinks, you know what I mean? You're way past the hundreds anyway in a normal weekday. So, like, especially on Valentine's Day, you know, 30 quid. It sounds so cheap. It sounds like a steal. Too good to be true. But also, it sounds kind of cheap as well, really, doesn't it? It sounds like something that you should be getting on a two-for-one special or something like that. But I would love to see how they reacted and how he dresses up and all that stuff, you know. I feel like there's loads of situations where this show, like, it could potentially drop things in here and there where we could see it and... Uh, it's always date scenarios as well, to be honest. It's always like Penny and Leonard going on a date when he was first getting together. Can we see it, please? You know, I'm really interested to see if it went well or not. I just don't want to be told, you know. As well as, obviously, Valentine's Day. It would have been cool as well. I understand why we couldn't have done it in terms of the way that we've done it in today's episode with the trip and Valentine's Day would have been when he was away and stuff like that. But I just feel like if we did do stuff like this, it would have been perfect for it. And it, uh, I'd be excited to see it. And, uh, you know, again, it would have been more ways that we can introduce Bernadette into the show. And if she's going to be here, then why not? You know, we'd like to see more of her. But also, as well, like I said last episode, I feel sorry for Ryan. He's not really in it much anymore. I don't feel like he's being utilised the best that he could be. And it's good that he ended up going on the trip as well. Now, again, Sheldon apparently fell out with, um, you know, with Leonard about being his friend and all that stuff. And then do you reckon that he's going to accept his, uh, well, I wouldn't say apology, but the fact that he was going to end up taking him because Penny got sick? I don't know. But again, I feel like we missed a trick in doing it in one episode where we're no longer friends. And then at the end of the episode, we are now. I would like to see maybe two episodes of them blanking each other, try to be non-existent, don't listen to them, you know, don't acknowledge they're there. Do you know what I mean? It would be interesting. I feel like we dropped these little things in and we could see little stuff here and there. We could play it out just a little bit. Everything don't have to be solved within one episode just like that. But I don't know. No complaints. I thought the episode was good. I enjoyed it and hopefully you guys did too. If you enjoyed today's episode, please smash like. really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.